are certain things, certain mistakes that if you fly FPV drones, you're, you're gonna do. It doesn't matter whether you just started flying or you've been flying for a while. There are just these certain little things that just you're, you're gonna mess up. Don't be ashamed. We've all done it. Hi, I'm Drib from Rotoriot. Make sure to hit us up at rotoriot.com for all the things that you need to keep your drones flying. Number one, you get to the field. You're all excited to fly. You open up your bag. Oh, hey, hey, does anyone have a... They want to have a prop tool? That's right, you're going to forget something. There are so many things that you need to have a good day out flying. You need your, your drones first off. You need your radio, you need your goggles. Props, prop tool. You're gonna to need other tools to fix it because you're probably gonna crash and need to, to fix it. You need to make sure you have your GoPro because if you don't get it recorded in that HD super view, did you, did you even really pull off the trick? Did, did it really happen? You gotta have your GoPro. You gotta have SD cards for your GoPro. There's just a whole mess of things that you need to remember. It's not like skateboarding where you just you need your board and your, your shoes. No, there's so many things that you need to remember to bring with you out for a day of flying that chances are sometimes you're gonna forget something. I'm a bit of a forgetful person and I definitely still forget things all the time. Prop tool is one of the most common things to forget and then you're, you're out there and you're trying to like okay how can I tighten this down maybe if I pinch my car keys together that sounds a little specific yeah those are things that I've actually tried hopefully this hobby has introduced you to other awesome people and you're getting to fly with your friends when you're not in quarantine sharing is super common you even see it at races where fierce competitors that are trying to beat each other on the track they don't want to win by technicality, they wanna get you flying. They'll share their prop tool. I've even seen people share motors when needed. So if you do get to fly with friends, that eases that one a little bit because someone's probably gonna be able to loan you a prop tool or a spare set of props or whatever it is that you forgot. Next up, I know you've had this happen to you. You go to take off, your arm, the props are spinning. You go to give it throttle and it <laughs> freaks out. <laughs> The quad does a little bit of a, what we call Tasmanian Devil. This can be caused for several reasons. Your board orientation in your configurator could be wrong. When your drone's facing this way, the flight controller thinks it's facing this way, and when you go to take off, it tilts this way, and it says, I need to tilt this way, so it adds more to this way and that way, and all of a sudden, it spins out. You could have your motor direction configured wrong. So the flight controller thinks you're gonna be hugging Okay, and then it tries to just keep swimming and whoa, it spins out. Most commonly though, is you, you just put your props on the wrong way. Maybe you're new to this and you haven't like got it just burned into your memory what prop goes on which corner. Or maybe you have been doing this for a very long time and you think that you know, you're not gonna make a mistake and you're going through and you're only paying half attention, you're talking to your buddy. One of the most embarrassing times that this happened to me was the first time that I met one of my FPV heroes, Schizo. I won his online freestyle contest and for winning, he gifted me an entire built quad and I got to fly it with him. Schizo's in the goggles with me, he's gonna watch, my hero's gonna watch me fly. I'm just so excited, oh my gosh, I better, better not mess it up. I arm and it, <gasps> yeah. All right, this next one, some of you guys might not think is a mistake per se, but, but hear me out. You go through the gap, then you just give it all the throttle. Whee! Power loops to the moon. I think it's a mistake. I think that good freestyle is about being close to things, proximity. There was a time when open air tricks were definitely more acceptable, the, the quads were so much less capable, and just to be able to get up there in the open air and do a Rubik's Cube or something like that, it was cool, but now, the bar has been raised. People want to see you do tricks close to things. Do everything tight. Keep it, keep it in there. And when you just, it doesn't look good. But sometimes we all just still do it. It doesn't matter if you've been flying for years and you've gotten pretty good at the freestyle. Sometimes you just can't help yourself. When you've got a fully charged LiPo, it's just so, Mm, satisfying. Mistake number four is flying with not so good props. 
work. I know, it sucks to have to change your props and you just, it's just a little bend, right? I'm just, I'll just bend it back. It's gonna be okay, right? Probably not. Do you wanna take that risk? That's your call. Do you wanna risk that footage? Modern flight controllers and their filtering and all that stuff, all that magic stuff have gotten really good at filtering out vibrations. So your tolerance for not the best condition props has definitely gone up, but that doesn't mean that it's bulletproof. And we've all been there where we have flown with props that are a little too bent, a little bit too nicked, and then what happens? You get that jello. But sometimes the reward of not dealing with it now is worth the risk because maybe the footage of the spot isn't that valuable, so whatever. But if you're flying somewhere special, if you've traveled to some exotic, super rare spot, don't risk it. Fly with fresh props, keep it crispy. And last mistake number five is also a matter of impatience and that is turtle moding when you shouldn't turtle mode. If you don't know, turtle mode is probably the greatest innovation to ever hit the FPV scene. It's the ability to reverse your motor so that you can flip your upside down quad. Like, you know, you think about like a little turtle on its back, just helpless, oh no. What if it had some motors that could just go and now you're right side up. That is turtle mode and it is amazing. However, there are times you shouldn't turtle mode and that's when you're tangled up in something. Maybe the grass is tall, maybe it's in a bush, you're upside down, you flip into turtle mode, you give it the whoop, and it doesn't flip. What should you do? You should put the radio down and get the drone. What do you do? You just keep whoop, whoop, come on. And sometimes you do, but what else can happen? You can burn out a motor. You can set an ESC on fire. Because it's one of the worst things for your gear when a motor is trying to spin and it can't spin. It gets angry and it gets hot and heat is the enemy of electronics. Most of the time, you're just being lazy. I'm not judging, I do it too, but you are. You could just go get it. It's right there. But no matter which of these mistakes you have made, don't be too embarrassed because like I said, these are all mistakes that we have all made and we are probably going to make again here and there because sometimes you just can't help it. You know what else we've all done here? Bonus mistake number six is crashing. <laughs> We all crash, but you know what? I'd say that's not actually a mistake because that's how you improve. That's how you get to the next level as a pilot is pushing yourself, trying new things that are out of your comfort zone and ultimately crashing along the way because sometimes that's what it takes to learn. That's what it takes to progress. And I would say the only mistake that you can make when crashing is crashing in a place that you shouldn't crash. Don't be pushing yourself and taking risks in a place where if you crash, you're gonna damage someone's property or put someone at risk. You need to fly responsibly. But if you're in a remote location and it's appropriate for you to be pushing yourself, you know what, it's not even a mistake to crash. It means you are trying to improve as a pilot. And you know what, if you do crash and you do break something, remember to hit us up at rotorriot.com. We have all the gear that you need to fix up your drones that you built. There's the plug guys, rotorriot.com. Right now is a great time to start a new build because uh, you're probably stuck inside. So guys, that about wraps it up. Let me know what I forgot. What's one of those mistakes that we're all gonna make from time to time? Drop a comment down below. Guys, what did you think of this episode? I know it's a little bit different from what we normally do, but you know, the world is on lockdown. We're not able to travel. We're not able to get together with the friends and fly in the cool places. So here, I'm all alone. Hello? We're in isolation, but hopefully these videos make us feel a little bit more together. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. It's right next to it. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm Ladrib, and we will see you next time on Rotor Riot. <laughs> 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 getting sucked.